Tsk, tsk, tsk. Caught again, Agent. A nice try. Caught again. Trying to kill the Minecraft bees. They did nothing to you. Leave them alone. How's it going, everybody? It's me, your guy. The agent, agent cannot be trusted, trusted here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Now, I'm still feeling good. Last episode went, uh, well, to say the least. It went exceptionally well. Good things happened. What happened? Well, of course, right here is your time to pause this video right here, right now, and go check it out. Because, check this out, haha, that's a trick. It's not in this chest. Check it out. The real loot is up here in this box right here. Not to brag, but 24 ancient debris. Thank you very much, ancient debris gods. We did well last episode. Today, it's finally time to take this diamond armor and actually make it good. We need to upgrade this armor and some of our tools to netherite. Now, we got really lucky, and we're going to get to actually upgrade all of our armor and actually two tools as well. I'm thinking a pickaxe and a sword. Definitely a sword for sure. But I need to ask you one big favor really quick. At least before we upgrade to Netherite, continue spreading that love. Hit that like button and subscribe. But also, there's a lot of you that watch these episodes that haven't subscribed. Uh, why is that? We need to talk about that. This is, I'm serious. This is an important thing. Okay, it's not that deep, but subscribe. All right, so three, two, one, netherite tutorial. First things first, ancient debris. Now, last episode was all about ancient debris, so there's no need to talk about that anymore. Find four ancient debris and then come back to your base. Once you're back in your base, go to a furnace or even better, a blast furnace, because everybody knows blast furnaces are for ores. Slide into the blast furnace, take anything out that might be waiting in the blast furnace for you, and then put some fuel in the blast furnace. After that, ancient debris goes right in the top slot. We need to cook this stuff up to use it. You can think of ancient debris in its current form, this form right here, as basically diamond ore. We need to fortune the diamond ore or smelt it up before we can actually use the diamonds, these things right here, netherite scrap. Now, it's a little bit of a metaphor, but yeah, basically, netherite scrap is the stuff that we need, kind of. Netherite is unlike any other ore in Minecraft. It's actually really, really sweet. We could slide into the crafting table, do two sticks, and then three netherite scrap just like that, but we wouldn't get anything because that's not how it works. If you want to make netherite, you're going to need netherite scrap, four of them, and four gold ingots as well. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, this garbage right there, it makes another appearance. We combine four netherite scrap with four gold ingots in a crafting table, and then, ooh. Ooh, that feels good. Netherite, the most beautiful thing in the game. We unlock some amazing, amazing recipes. And now we need more. I need to wait for the blast furnace to actually catch up to where I'm at before we do anything else. I need more netherite scrap ASAP. A little bit of time later and boom, we have 20 netherite scrap. That amounts to five more netherite ingots. We got really, really lucky. I'm so, so happy about this. Now we have netherite ingots and we put them in the crafting table just like that. Still doesn't work like that because netherite is really, really interesting. The next step in the march toward netherite involves this workstation block right here, the smithing table. The smithing table was first added to Minecraft back in the 1.14 update, but finally got its use in the 1.16 update. Uh, now the house is really crowded. I literally think I couldn't fit one more workstation in here, so I have an idea. We're gonna go ahead and go outside and detail the porch by putting a smithing table on it, okay? Yes, it works. It's not the fanciest thing, but it works. Now, the smithing table. This is what it looks like. It's a workstation block, but it's also an upgrading station. Currently, the smithing table has one use. That use, upgrade diamond to netherite. Put a diamond thing in the first slot, a netherite ingot in the middle, and then would you look at that, netherite on the right. Let's go, Rosie. Bring me good loot. Bring me good loot. Bring me good loot. No loot. Okay, well, you sit. So anyways, a couple things to know about upgrading to netherite. Upgrading to netherite is a one-way trip. Once you upgrade a diamond thing to netherite, it is netherite forever until you break it. But don't break it because netherite, crazy hard to get. Enchantments. You can definitely upgrade your enchanted diamond stuff to enchanted netherite stuff. And good news, nothing happens to the enchantments. The enchantments will remain the same. If you've used up your diamond tools a little bit, well, no big deal. The durability will scale upwards. Netherite has more durability than diamond. That goes for everything netherite. Uh, diamond helmet to netherite helmet, more durability across the board. And netherite tools, like pickaxes and stuff, work a little bit better, meaning they mine a little bit faster. Netherite armor, on the other hand, has a little bit more toughness and built-in knockback resistance, which means you'll be pushed around a little bit less. Now, I think it's time for that big moment. We can go ahead and upgrade diamond to netherite, 
or we could wait. So I mentioned it earlier on, but Netherite has a higher enchantment value than Diamond, which means if we throw a Netherite helmet into an enchanting table, theoretically, we should get better enchantments offered up. But, I mean, come on, let's be real, the enchantments offered in this world are just crazy bad. I don't even know what's up here. Aqua Affinity, actually, I take that back, that's not that bad, but... Yeah, we could upgrade right now, but think about it. If we upgraded to netherite right now, like we made this diamond helmet a netherite helmet, and then we enchanted it, those enchantments would pretty much be it. Unless I wanted to enchant books and then try and put those books on the helmet, that would work, or disenchant the netherite helmet. Meanwhile, diamond helmet, I could enchant one diamond helmet, enchant a second diamond helmet because I have a lot of diamonds, and then combine those helmets. After that, then I could upgrade it. So basically, long story short, this is how we upgrade. But we're gonna wait to upgrade, actually. Now something rudely took all of the levels that I had away from me. No clue what it was. Definitely wasn't me or anything like that. I don't know, the levels just disappeared one day. Seriously, it's, it's crazy, believe it or not. I need to get those levels back. How do I get those levels back? Well, of course, experience. We need to go somewhere and get ourselves experience. I would currently say that we're in the stage of wrapping things up over here at the starter base. After we upgrade everything to netherite today, all we need to do is really gather supplies, and kind of conveniently, we've already gathered all of the supplies. We've found the stronghold. We're basically ready for the dragon fight, which means we're also basically ready to leave this base. Other than one big thing, there is one project that we started over here at the starter base that we actually never finished. That's a big problem. I can't leave things like that in this world. Hello, zombie spawner XP farm. Today, we're gonna work on this build right here, finish it up and link it up to our base while getting a bunch of levels. So first things first, gonna move down in here and move this stuff into the actual spawner room. This cave entrance is the old entrance. We don't need this entrance, we're better than that. So, right now, this is what we have. This is what we're working with. A very, very small room, a very, very plain, uninspiring room. Behind this wall, the spawner. Over here, nothing. Over there, nothing. Right here, the whole, um, like, dropper area. Now, uh, today, we need to make this all look pretty good. First things first, we need a way in and out of this farm. I think the way in and out should be over on this wall. I'm thinking maybe just throwing blocks down here and kind of like thinking out loud. What if we filled this wall in just for a second to get an idea? Then maybe we put like a way in right there and a way out right there. That would be nice. We'd have a small space in the middle. We can't do much with it, but that's okay. I'm thinking, of course, for our way in and out, we could use bubble columns. So I'm going to have to go back to the base and get a little bit more supplies, but a soul sand elevator to go up and then to go down magma blocks. That would probably be pretty cool. Then the rest of this room. Of course, right now, the room doesn't look very good, but we could easily make it look a lot better if I had a little bit more cobblestone. I think I do. I think I left cobblestone over here, right? Yeah, perfect, perfect. We're going to go ahead and grab some cobblestone, throw it in the furnace, and smelt it up into stone. Then, with stone, we can make stone bricks. Stone bricks would look really, really good in here. But, you know what would also look really good? I'm thinking, maybe, and uh, big maybe here, we have to try it out. But dark oak logs around the bottom, and then stone bricks going up on the wall. We'll need to make this room a little bit more tall, maybe like three, four blocks tall, that'll probably be good. And then the shape, honestly, I'm cool with it. I think the shape is good. Now, while I work on the build today, this is the plan. Walk over here, take these guys out. Goodbye, zombies. Absolute garbage. Oh, wait, no, you're not. I take it back because levels. Just like that, nice and easy. While working on this and kind of doing things that way, we'll actually rake up a lot of levels and even more rotten flesh. And then what can I do with the rotten flesh? Well, of course, I could take that rotten flesh back over to the village and sell it for even more emeralds. Or I could wait until we move. Once we move, I have a big feeling, uh, big feeling, eh, no spoilers or anything, but big feeling, hey, water, 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 no big deal. Oh, but you know what's a big deal? <laughs> I just broke that, and uh, there was a sign on that, so I'm going to need to break in there, actually, and fix that one. No big deal, boom, right there. Sign problem, never was a thing. Anyways, I was saying, I have a feeling, and this is a strange feeling, don't know where I'm getting it from, but stuff with villagers might happen soon. So anyways, stone bricks, we have a few. It's not a lot, but it's a start. We can make some stone bricks just like that, and then actually, we can turn those stone bricks into mossy stone bricks. They won't all be mossy stone bricks, but some of them definitely will be. Then we could take maybe like half of those and turn them into staircases. The staircases will go right here to create a little bit of depth. Then we'll just go straight up the rest of the way with stone bricks. I think that would probably, honestly, look pretty good. Probably. Now again, yes, this room is small, but that's fine. In all honesty, we'll probably be ditching this room and then probably never coming back. 
If I find another zombie spawner in the jungle, we'll turn that into a better, bigger, fancier zombie farm. The goal here is to really just finish this thing up, polish it up so it's not a gigantic unfinished project back at spawn. That would be embarrassing. Unfinished projects are definitely, no, no, never. Definitely not, have never been my thing. Never. Yeah, never. So, uh, let's see, what do we need to bring with us over to that build site? Definitely a block of soul sand and a magma block as well, that's good. Then probably some kelp to turn flowing water into water sources. Definitely a little bit more coal, I'm like running out of the stuff, we're literally out of it. And then, honestly, honestly, that might be it. Maybe a little bit of sand, sand could be cool. And then of course, ink sacks too, so we can dye the glass. Now another thing that I'm gonna need to do is not only the farm room, but the path going over to it. Now the path is gonna be really simple. I'm thinking literally just path blocks and then probably like oak slabs or spruce slabs to go up and down. But yeah, I do need to get the path in as well. I need to connect spawn all the way up to the zombie farm. So it's nice and easy to get to. All right, so let's work on those elevators. We're gonna need this block right here to be one of the ways um, probably up. We'll go up right here, so let's just go ahead and tower up and then dig straight up. That'll probably work fine. And then the surface. Uh, once I get to the surface of this area, um, I'm basically going to leave it undecorated. We're gonna leave some holes in the ground and I'll put a couple things around it so it's not literally just holes in the ground, but yeah, I'm not gonna put like a building on the surface or anything like that. I don't really need that here. So there we go, we have the surface. Now we can go ahead and climb down here and then do the same thing on the other side. Then also, just because, I mean, well, why not? We're gonna go ahead and make these dropping areas look really, really nice too. I'm gonna swap the blocks on the wall out for something else. Maybe spruce, maybe stone bricks. Ay, the zombies broke my golden uh, leggings. Great, zombies, thanks. How am I ever, ever going to afford more golden leggings? Don't you know how expensive those are? All right, now check this. Water right there, so we can go all the way down. I did leave a window right here. We're gonna put glass in there in a second. But anyways, we go all the way down into the room. Now to stop the water from pouring into this room, easy. We have a couple different options. I'm thinking that the option that we're gonna go with today, though, is gonna be this one right here. We go ahead and make some spruce doors. Boom, just like that. Okay, so door right there. We open it. Boom, that's good. Now we need to turn all of these flowing water blocks into water sources. Easy, that's all done with kelp. And then I need to go back down and swap this block out for a magma block. Now technically, you could just make like a dropper here. I could put like a puddle of water on the bottom, but I want things to look symmetrical here. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and go with that option. That's going to pull everything down here, including myself. Now, all I need to do is do it again on the other side. But of course, instead of dirt, we're gonna go with soul sand. That will move everything up to the surface, just like this, and then this will move everything down to the bottom. Now, we need to be careful, magma blocks are hot, so if we crouch, we won't take any damage. We can move right in here, nice and easily. Now, give me a piece of gold armor. Give me gold armor, let's go. Gold armor, gold armor, please. Um, you took the gold armor. All right, so now, really, I just need to catch the rest of this room up to the vision. I'm thinking some glass in there, definitely glass right there and there, stone bricks everywhere else, so that should look pretty good, and it should do the job. The ceiling, not too sure. I'm thinking maybe Dark Oaks Labs, though. That might look pretty good. But at least I've hit level 31, which means it's enchanting time. So let's take a look at this. What do we have here? We have Aqua Affinity. Okay, I like that. Uh, Unbreaking 3. Okay, mm, Unbreaking 3. Eh, nah, not so much. Knockback 2. Definitely not. And then Power 4. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we could have a new Power 5 bow, which would be huge. But honestly, you know, yeah, being real here, Power 4 is actually already really, really good. I mean, Power 5 would be great, but... Let's check this out. Maybe we could get Feather Falling? No, on Breaking 3. Okay, so let's see. What did I like the most? Honestly, honestly, probably the Aqua Affinity. I'm gonna go ahead and take Aqua Affinity on this helmet. Maybe it'll be good. Okay, on Breaking 3, Aqua Affinity. Definitely good. I like that. Uh, the only better thing would be Respiration here. Now, what's gonna be next? Fire Production 4, on Breaking 3. Um, blast Production 4, okay. Uh, looting 3, mm -hmm. uh, Punch 2. Okay, that's gonna be tricky. So, what we're probably going to want to... Oh, power four. Boom, right there. That's going to be the next move that I'm going to make after I get all the way back up to, of course, uh, level 30.
So I thought about it a little bit. Do I want to take that Power 5 book or would I rather take something like Fire Protection 4? Fire Protection 4 might kind of be huge in the future. Even Unbreaking 3 on these leggings, honestly, honestly, I'm kind of like feeling that because Unbreaking 3 means my leggings are going to... Oh, Silk Touch though. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Silk Touch. Okay, uh, that's tricky. But you know what? I think I have to pass the Silk Touch this time and maybe go for like unbreaking through in the leggings i know it's basic but let's give it a shot what do we get uh unbreaking three fire protection four okay yep those are good those are good not gonna help as much with the dragon but still pretty good not a bad deal at all now let's disenchant this stuff right here even though this is actually pretty good and these leggings too boom like that how many levels okay almost so close so close but so far back again i'm at level 31 that means it's enchanting time so let's check this out we're actually getting there we're almost done so protection three okay or protection three okay or fire aspect two hey no or power four okay so mm -hmm. lots of good choices efficiency four okay or sharpness three yeah you know what i think uh we're gonna go with I think we're going to go with power four here and combine our bows and make them really, really strong. So boom, there we go. That's going to be power five now. Then we're going to have blast protection four, fire protection three, smite four. I think blast protection is next up. How many levels is this going to cost? This is probably going to cost a lot. Yes, yeah, seven levels. Uh, I'll do it later. We'll do that. That'll be like the final thing that we do. But, uh, oh boy, I have something to show you. I have finished the zombie spawner room. I'm really, really happy with it. The only thing that I might add, big maybe, is the carpet in here. But this right here is the room. It's simple, yet in my opinion, perfectly perfect. So check this out. This wall, I went crazy with the details. Look at everything going on here. So these are glass panes. Initially, I had a glass window. And then I said, hey, wait. What if I let the spruce wood show through a little bit? So then I did that. And then I got to the middle and I was like, hey, look at this upside down person. Wouldn't that be kind of funny in there? It, not really. But I thought like doing a little something in the middle would be cool. And in my opinion, I think it worked out. So yeah, crazy detailed wall over here. Over here, a much more simple wall. We've got a clock in the middle so I know when to sleep. And actually, when zombies are in that thing over there, I can sleep, uh, believe it or not. It's not nighttime, so I can't really show you. But yeah, it does work. Then over here, we have a chest with random things i was kind of doing a little bit of sorting in here not much but you know some sorting then over here rotten flesh i have a lot of rotten flesh that i need to sell empty chests over here basically extra room for more things over here we have a trap door wall i wanted to add depth to this wall it was too plain too flat especially when compared to the other walls so trap doors in there you can see in there and actually i think the trap doors do let some light through but it's okay the rates still seem pretty good Finally, we have this wall right here. We have the actual elevator over there, and then over here uh, is a fake elevator for symmetry, and then boom, of course, right in the middle, we get the mobs. So I can stand here, take them out, but uh, that's actually this entire room. I have it all lit up with lanterns. I think it looks really, really good, and I'm crazy happy with it. Now, uh, with all of that being said, the surface. The surface is still plain. This is the next move now. So, uh, what I'm thinking is basically kind of like trying to turn these into just two squares with stone brick, probably. Very, very simple. But I, I think that'll do. It'll kind of almost be like two pipes coming out of the ground. And then really just putting a path uh, going from this spot all the way over to the base, of course. Now, if this were late game and I had TNT or at least a better pickaxe that wasn't about to break, this is what I would do. I would blow a hole through this mountain, cutting right through so the path doesn't have to go up and then back down. But it's not late game. I don't have a lot of explosives and my pickaxe isn't doing too hot right now. So I'm actually going to just skip out on that. Maybe we can come back later. I'll just put the path going up the hill and then down the hill on the other side. Won't be the end of the world. Would be really, really cool, though, to, to have it go right through the hill. Anyways, though, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up on the surface, get a little bit more levels and finish everything up for today shouldn't be too much longer all right it's time again let's go ahead and enchant let's see what do we have this time we're gonna focus on these final three things blast protection four fire protection three or smite four yeah that's right that's right i remember that blast protection four for sure unbreaking three. Ooh, oh yeah okay that's good depth strider three yeah come on man sweeping edge three okay well we don't have that that's gonna be the next move for sure definitely which uh means we only have two more runs to go 
Unless, uh, yeah, 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 two more runs to go. Also, I keep forgetting to disenchant this. Let's go ahead and do that. Got that from a zombie. Let's go. Okay, that's a few levels. Not bad. Here we are again. Let's go for another round of enchanting. Now, I know I keep checking things beforehand, but I also keep forgetting. So, we'll double check. Uh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Definitely sweeping edge. Boom, let's go. Sweeping edge three. Wow, that's a disappointment. What do we have? Unbreaking three or efficiency four. Okay, well, uh, or, 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 uh, channeling. Okay, very cool enchantment channeling, but I think we're gonna have to probably, you know, I think we're gonna try and go for these boots. Or, you know what? I'm disenchanting this. I don't like that. Disenchanted, that is painful, and sharpness four. Boom. Okay, yep, that's the one that we're going for next. Easy. Oh, right, it leads. Guess what? I'm level 33 now, which means we can do two runs of enchanting. By the way, I just found, like, literally just found these two leads. Um, no clue at all how I found them. Promise. Like, yeah, no clue at all. Anyways, though, I got two leads. Don't think about it too much. So, enchanting time. Let's go ahead and first off, well, no, no, no. First off, yes, enchant. So, I think what we were going to do is, what we're going to take this sword. Yeah, sharpness four, for sure. That sword, okay, fire aspect two. All right. Alright, alright, that'll combine with this very, very nicely. Then finally, Depth Strider 3. Hey, that's risky. That's risky because I already have Depth Strider on my boots. Loyalty 3, yeah, okay. Fortune 2, no, no, okay. You know what? We're gonna take it. Navy, Depth Strider 3, that's it. Okay, well, you know what? Look at this. Boom, disenchanted just like that. Would we get Feather Falling? No, just more Depth Strider. Okay, of course, of course, of course. Disenchant these two pieces of armor. Boom, thank you very much. And now it's finally time. I think what we want to do is combine all of our tools and, of course, oh, of course, upgrade this stuff right here, this now trash deer armor, to, of course, netherite. We've got pretty decent enchantments on it all. If I could get Feather Falling 3 on the boots, that would be really, really cool, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. What we're going to probably have to do is either A, find a Feather Falling 3 book or get one somehow, or uh, B, uh, just more diamond boots, enchant, upgrade to netherite, and then combine. So here we go, netherite. The right boot number one boom there we go now the helmet too very cool the armor and then the leggings and then after this we're gonna back out oh yeah like that sound for sure for sure now uh what we want to do is actually stop and then go over to the anvil because this sword needs to be combined so we're gonna have knockback two looting three sharpness four fire aspect two the only thing that would make that better is some sweeping edge, which I almost feel, oh, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I thought, okay, so, let's go ahead and combine these, level 14 that way, or level 16, easy, 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 level 14, for sure, we'll go ahead and combine those, then, we'll go ahead and combine these, so we have power 5 right there, and let's give this one a name, hmm, what am I feeling today, you know what, I'm almost feeling Walter is a solid name for a bow, I don't know, I haven't used that one before, though, uh, diamond sword, sweeping, oh, so close, but so far, that's okay. You want to know why it's okay? Well, this is why it's okay. I think we can move over to this guy right here. Haven't used this in a minute. And breed these cows up. And maybe, oh, maybe, we'll get our way to level 7 here. I think we will. I think, hopefully, maybe. And if not, then I, oh, yep, it's the level 7. Perfect, perfect. That's all we needed. Thank you, cows. It needs a better name, but I don't really have the levels for that. So, for now, we're going to go ahead and do this right here. Boom. There we go. This is a crazy good sword. The only thing that would make it better sharpness five and mending and oh yeah that's right of course netherite netherite sword hello now uh this final piece of netherite was going to be for a pickaxe but i don't really have a pickaxe that i want to upgrade quite yet so what we're gonna do is actually just save this extra netherite ingot which is an amazing feeling i'm glad to actually have extra netherite that's awesome all right, now, I think it's time. I've actually already accidentally put the pants on, but I think it's time that we go ahead and gear up all the way. Full netherite. Oh, yeah, I like the looks of that. That's really good. And do we have Unbreaking 3 on everything? Oh, we do. No, no, not the boots. We have Unbreaking 3 on everything else, though, which means we can actually wear this armor, and it shouldn't get too damaged, which is good, because repairing netherite is expensive. We're definitely going to need to get mending, like, ASAP here. But I think that is actually pretty much it for today's episode of the Minecraft Guide. We've got the Netherite Sword stacked, uh, pretty stacked, and then a bow. There's not much on the bow. Could definitely use more, but it's a solid start.
Iron Boots, you've been very, very helpful, but goodbye. And then Iron Helmet, same for you. You've been great, good friend, very nice friend, but goodbye. Now, it's time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from Noah. Waddles, are you going to be getting into Redstone more this season? Yes, 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 definitely. That is the plan, at least. So, this season, uh, so far, we've been kind of taking it quick, but also taking it slow. The plan is, after the dragon fight, to sort of start ramping things up. Now, we won't be jumping into gigantic gold farms right away, but that definitely is something that I'd like to do sooner this season and actually finish the season, like make a base by a giant gold farm, that kind of thing, end farms, you know, all of that stuff that we haven't done. Maybe even an industrial iron farm. I think a big ultra productive iron farm would be a pretty fun build to do. And redstone. We'll be doing more redstone if the build calls for it. So probably, we'll probably do more redstone this season, especially more advanced redstone. But at least that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor. Go down below the video and hit that like button right now. Full netherite, that's pretty sweet. The bow also matches netherite. I like that a lot. Today, I'd also like to send a big shout out to my almost sponsor, my second channel, Waddles2. Go down below the video and uh, check out Waddles2. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to, yeah, not hit anything. Yeah, go check out Waddles2. There's a link down in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Safe Frost. This has been me, your boy Waddles. Goodbye, everyone.